What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another short video. Today I'm going to show you guys the top 5 best Halloween outfits to make for your male character. So we're going to go ahead and start with the first outfit right here. So once you do make it to a clothing store, you're now going to want to walk over here to the top section. Scroll down until you do find overcoats, which will be on slot 17. So click on overcoats and you're going to equip the black trench coat, which is on slot 60. After you've equipped the black trench coat, back out of overcoats, go to t-shirts, which will be on slot 63, and equip the charcoal t-shirt on slot 86, but you should already have this once you did equip the overcoat, so you guys don't have to really worry about looking for it. But once you do equip the charcoal t-shirt and the black overcoat, you can now just back out of the tops, walk over here to the pants section, click on jeans, which will be on slot one, and equip the midnight camo fitted on slot 41. Now that you have equipped the midnight camo fitted jeans, you can then just back out of the pants section, walk over here to your accessories, go to scarves, which will be on slot three, and equip the black plaid woolen scarf on slot six. Once you've equipped the scarf, you can now back out of scarves, go to gloves on slot seven, and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. Now that you've equipped the black woolen gloves and the scarf, back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, go to sport shoes, which will be on slot nine, and equip the all white sport shoes on slot 28. Once you have equipped the sport shoes, back out of the shoe section, and now you're gonna wanna walk up here to the front counter and just save this outfit on any slot that you guys want, because once we do equip the mask and the helmet, for some reason the scarf does disappear, but I'm gonna show you guys on how to merge it together. So go ahead and save this outfit. After you do save the outfit, you can then just back out of the front counter, and now we're gonna head over here to the mask store. So whenever you do make it to the mask store, Walk over here to the hats, look for bulletproof helmets, which will be on slot 19, and equip the black bulletproof. After you do equip the black bulletproof, you can then just back out of the hats, walk over here to the mask, go to monsters, which will be on slot 17, and equip the black sack slasher. For me, it's gonna be on slot 46, and maybe on a different slot for you guys, because I am doing this a couple weeks before the Halloween update, and I don't have every Halloween mask. So this might be on a different slot for you, just look for the black sack slasher. After you do equip the black sack slasher, you will see that your scarf does come off also with the bulletproof helmet. So we're gonna head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and merge the helmet and scarf with the mask. So whenever you do find a telescope on the pier, this is what your outfit should look like with only the mask and this outfit. So once your outfit does look like this, just do the telescope glitch to go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope just like this. With the recent update, your character's mask does not come off but you guys don't have to worry. Now pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your accessories, go to your helmets and scroll through your helmets until you do find the black bulletproof. Once you find the black bulletproof helmet and you scroll through the helmets, you'll see that your mask does come off, but you guys don't have to worry. You can then just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope and you will see that the mask and helmet do merge together just like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and merge the scarf with this whole outfit with the mask and helmet together. Just do the telescope glitch again, so run past telescope, hit right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope just like this. Now pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and this is the reason I did tell you to save your outfit earlier. So once you do equip the outfit from your interaction menu, which your outfit should look like this, once you do equip it without the mask and helmet, put away your interaction menu, you should see that the scarf is also here, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask, the helmet, and the scarf merge all together with this outfit. So this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save the outfit on whichever slot you want, and after you do save the outfit, we can now move on to the second Halloween outfit. So whenever you do make it back to the clothing store, this will be the second Halloween outfit that I'm gonna show you how to make. So now you're just gonna wanna walk over here to your tops, scroll down until you do find sport jackets, which will be down here on slot 14. Click on sport jackets and you're gonna equip the orange collared puffer on slot nine. After you do equip the sports jacket, you can now just back up to the tops, walk over here to the pants, scroll down until you do find sport or uh, suit pants, my bad, which will be on slot six and you're gonna click on suit pants and equip the black slim fit on slot 32. After you have equipped the black slim fit, back out of the pants, walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, which will be on slot seven, and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. Now that you have equipped the black woolen gloves, back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, go to sport shoes, which will be on slot nine, and equip the all white sport shoes on slot 28. Now that you have equipped the all white sports shoes, 
back out of the shoe section, walk over here to your hats, scroll down until you find helmets. Helmets will be right here on slot 16. Click on helmets and you're gonna look for the orange firefighter and goggles, which will be on slot seven. Once you do equip this helmet, back out of the hats, and now for this outfit, we're gonna head over here to the mask store. When you are at the mask store, walk over here to the mask, scroll down until you find monsters, which will be on slot 17, and you're gonna look for the evil pumpkin, which will be on slot 51. For me, it's actually on slot 51. It may be on a different slot for you because I am doing this a couple weeks before the Halloween update. So I don't have all the ha I don't have all the Halloween mask. So that's why it's on a different slot for me compared to you. But once you do equip the evil pumpkin mask, you'll see that your helmet does come off. So now you're just gonna wanna back out of the mask and we're gonna head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and merge the helmet with this evil pumpkin mask. Once you have found a telescope on the pier, you're just gonna wanna do the telescope glitch. So gonna run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope just like this. And that's how you guys know that you guys are glitched. With the recent update, your character's mask does not come off anymore, but you're now gonna wanna pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, go to your helmets, and you're just gonna wanna scroll through your helmets until you do find the orange firefighter, orange and goggles helmet, which will look like this. So once you do find this helmet, just put away your interaction menu. You'll see that your mask does come off, but you guys don't have to worry. Just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask and helmet do merge together just like this. And this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, after you did save it, we can move on to the third Halloween outfit. This will be the third Halloween outfit that I'm gonna show you on how to make in today's video. So for this outfit, walk over here to your tops once again, scroll down until you find special tops, which will be right here on slot 22. Click on special tops, go to movies, which will be on slot nine, and you're gonna equip the knife after dark, which should look like this. So I believe you were only able to get this t-shirt last year or maybe two years ago, something like that. So if you guys do have it, then that's pretty good. If you guys don't, then you guys could probably choose some other shirt that looks similar to this. But once you do equip the knife after dark t-shirt, back out of your tops, walk over here to the pants section, just click on jeans, which will be on the first slot, and you're gonna equip the black fitted on slot 56. After you do equip the black fitted jeans, back out of the pants, walk over here to your accessories, click on chains, which will be also on the first slot, and equip the platinum skull necklace on slot 53. After you do equip the chain, back out of chains, go to gloves on slot seven, and equip the white cotton gloves on slot 53. Now that you do have the white cotton gloves, back out of gloves, go to cuffs on slot eight, and for your left arm, you're gonna equip the spiked gauntlet, which will be on slot 18 for your left arm. And now for your right arm, just scroll down to slot 32 and you're gonna equip the spiked gauntlet for your right arm. So once you do have the cuffs, the gloves, and the chain, that will be all for the accessories. So back out of the accessories, walk over here to your shoes, go to skate shoes on slot three and equip the gray skate shoes on slot three. Now that you have the shoes, back out, walk over here to the hats, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and equip the black bulletproof after you do equip the black bulletproof, back out of the hats, and for this outfit, we're gonna head over here to the mask store. When you do make it to the mask store, walk over here to the mask, scroll down until you do find monsters, which will be on slot 17, and you're gonna look for the white stitched wire, which is gonna be on slot eight. After you've equipped the white stitched wire, you'll see that your helmet does come off. So back out of the mask store, we're now gonna head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and merge the helmet with this mask. Once you do find a telescope on the pier, you're then just gonna wanna do the telescope glitch. You're gonna run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope. That's how you guys know that you guys are glitched. Now pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your accessories. Now go to your helmets and scroll through your helmets until you do find the black bulletproof. You will see that your mask does come off once you are scrolling through the helmets. But now that you found the black bulletproof helmet, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask and helmet do merge together just like this. And that was the final part of the outfit. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And after you did save the outfit, that is all. So now we can move on to the fourth Halloween outfit. Now that you are back at the clothing store, this will be the fourth Halloween outfit that I'm gonna show you how to make. For this outfit, just walk over here to your tops once you do get to a clothing store. 
Scroll down until you find Vest, which will be on slot 47, and equip the red pinstripe suit vest on slot 15. After you do equip this vest, back up to Vest, go to Vest Shirts, which will be on slot 48, and you're going to look for the black band vest shirt on slot 14. So once you do have the vest and the vest shirt, back up to the top section, walk over here to the pants, scroll down to suit pants, which will be right here on slot six, and you're gonna equip the black slim fit on slot 32. After you do equip the black slim fit suit pants, back out of the pants, walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to ties on slot four, and equip the white bow tie on slot 68. Once you have equipped the white bow tie, back out of the ties, Go to gloves on slot seven and equip the white cotton gloves on slot 53. After you do have the white bow tie and the white cotton gloves, back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, go to slip-ons, which will be on slot 12 and equip the white canvas slip-ons on slot nine. Once you do have the white slip-ons, back out of your shoes, walk over here to your hats, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and just equip the black bulletproof. Now that you have the black bulletproof helmet, you can then back out of the hats now for the parachute, you're going to want to pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set your parachute to on, and for your bag, set it to the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, you can go to any gun store on the map, go to parachutes, or walk up to the front counter once you do get to the gun store. After you get up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then look for the black combat shoe bag. After you do find the black combat shoe bag, go ahead and buy it, then back out of the front counter. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and it should be set to the black combat shoe bag. So once your outfit does look like this, we're now going to head over here to the mask store for this outfit. For this outfit, once you do make it to the mask store, walk over here to the mask, go to monsters once again on slot 17, and look for the fresh skull on slot 34. Just like I said earlier, it may be on a different slot just because I don't have all the Halloween mask, but once you do find the fresh skull, you can then just back out of the mask store and you will see that your helmet does come off. So we're gonna head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and merge the helmet with this mask. Whenever you do find a telescope on the pier, you're just gonna wanna do the telescope glitch. You're gonna run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope. And then that's how you guys know that you guys are glitched. You can now pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, Go ahead and go to your helmets and scroll through until you do find the black bulletproof. Once you find the black bulletproof helmet, or once you are scrolling through your helmets and you find the black bulletproof helmet, you will see that your mask does come off, but you guys don't have to worry. You can now put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask and helmet do merge together just like this. And this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And after you do save the outfit, we can now move on to the fifth Halloween outfit. Okay guys, so for the final Halloween outfit that I'm gonna show you on how to make, for this outfit, once you do make it back to the clothing store, walk over here to your tops, go to utility tops on slot 52, and you're gonna equip the gray combat top on slot 38. After you've equipped the gray combat top, back out of the top section, walk over here to the pants, click on jeans, which will be on slot one, and equip the gray fitted on slot 59. After you've equipped the gray fitted jeans, back out of your pants, walk over here to your accessories, go to scarfs, which will be on slot three, and equip the gray scarf on slot 15. Once you've equipped the gray scarf, back out of scarves, go to gloves on slot seven, and equip the gray woolen gloves on slot 57. So once you do have the gray scarf and the gray woolen gloves, back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, go to slip-ons, which will be on slot 12, and you're gonna equip the white canvas slip-ons on slot nine. Now that you have the white canvas slip-ons, back out of the shoes, walk over here to your hats, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19, and equip the charcoal bulletproof. Whenever you do have the charcoal bulletproof, you can then just back out of the hats, and for this outfit, we're gonna head over here to the mask store. So whenever you do make it to the mask store, walk over here to the mask, go to monsters once again, which will be on slot 17, and look for the gray flayed demon on slot 49. Once you do equip the gray flayed demon mask, you can then just back out of the mask store. And now for the body armor, pull up your interaction menu, go to your inventory, go to body armor, go to your show armor, and you're gonna have it set to the light, or the super light armor, which is this gray vest that's kind of blending in with the utility top. 
But once you do equip the super light armor, you can then back out of your interaction menu. And now we're gonna head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and merge this helmet with the mask. Now that you are on the pier near a telescope, all you wanna do is the telescope glitch. You're gonna run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope. That's how you guys know that you guys are glitched. You can now pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your accessories, go to your helmets and scroll through your helmets until you do find the charcoal bulletproof. And you will see that your mask does come off once you are scrolling through the helmets, but you guys don't have to worry. Once you find the charcoal bulletproof helmet, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask and helmet do merge together just like this. If your body armor does come off for some reason, just pull up your interaction menu, go to your inventory, go to your body armor, go to your show armor, and set it to the light armor that will look like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So once your outfit does look like this, you can then just go to the clothing store, save the outfit on whichever slot you want. And after you do save the outfit, that is all. So I hope you guys do enjoy these five Halloween outfits that I did make. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.